EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Monterey Peninsula, live opening round coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Blue skies on top of blue waters, right next to one of the prettiest pieces of green grass on this good earth as we check out the leaderboard here in round one. Troy Merritt is on top. He's off to a good start at six under. We head out to the course as we pick up the action on the tee at the par four fourth. So many great golf courses here on the Monterey Peninsula. We're at Pebble Beach for this, the third tournament on the PGA Tour schedule this year. And Frank, we look at the golfer we're going to be following. Rookie on this tour, still looking to play the weekend for the first time after two missed cuts. Is there a danger of getting too discouraged early on? There certainly is, and, and I think that's exactly where the player feels right now. If all of a sudden it's three in a row, you start to think if I made the right decision. But I remember a, a line from the late, great Arnold Palmer. He said, this game is 90% mental, and the other 10%, well, that's mental as well. Eleven feet away. Oh, yes. Plenty of place to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Frank, this whole area of the country, Monterey, Carmel, 17-mile drive, just such a stunning setting for golf. We're just taking a nice drive with the emerald green fairway set against the ocean blue. It's just ideal. But talk to me about playing the course, Pebble Beach. What should a young golfer like this keep in mind when teeing it up for the first time as a professional? Rich, it's the polar opposite of the drive in, you know, where you decompress and look at the views. Because once you get onto that first tee at Pebble, and it's a wonderful golf course designed by Jack Neville, you're going to realize that uh, no two holes look the same. I mean, that's stating the obvious there. But side hill lies when you play it towards the Pacific. And then you, know, you sort of beat your way around the golf course, the, the, the beautiful downhill path through seventh. I know it's talked about and it's photographed, but that's where you start scratching your head and like, do I have the right club? And that's a feeling you get at Pebble so often around this golf course. But I mentioned seven, so I've got to mention eight, nine, and ten. In my opinion, they're the three best par fours in a row in any golf course I've ever seen. I mean, they're beautiful driving holes and iron play, but, you know, Pebble's about the experience, uh, but it's also about the legacy that this golf course has for America. So to compete at Pebble is one thing. To play well at Pebble, well, that's another thing as well. That one finished off. It is a part here at five, and he'll stay at two under. Frank, here we are, another good scoring opportunity, the dramatic par 5 six. It's easy to have that view of Stillwater Cove on the right, uh, but that, that, needless to say, is not the, not the place to go. Those five bunkers down the left really determine your strategy off the tee. Plus, you, 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 you're playing from elevation, nearly 20 yards extra off the tee. So that run out at 360 at the end of the fairway, believe me, that's in play. Oh! Oh, I thought that ball might just have a chance of staying dry, but no such luck as that kicks into the hazard. So he'll take the drop and now go about trying to somehow save par, and this will be his third to the par five. Well, that was nearly very good. Just the speed of the green taking that one away. So that one runs by. Still some cleanup work to be done. Certainly from that short of a distance, that leaves more of a putt than you want.
Yeah, that's a good roll there to come away with just a bogey at this par five. He'll drop back now to one under par. Moving on to the 106 yard par 37. One of the most beautiful holes in the world. Craggy rocks, blue skies, and the beckoning Pacific beyond. Absolutely breathtaking. Well, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Yeah, that's a good spot right there and a chance now for a birdie here at seven. This is an 11 foot putt. That one just gonna sneak on by. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll remain at one under par. From the famous par three seventh to the equally famous par four eighth, Frank, what a hole. It is, Rich, and it starts, in my opinion, the best three consecutive par fours in golf. Uh, this one's a little bit of a blind tee shot, that white rock that's just up ahead. Uh, that's your line. If you hit it over the right side of that, your run out is about 250 yards. If you go a little left of that, you've got another 20 yards up your sleeve. But do not go further than that. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. Aggressive off the tee, ball lucky not to run out of fairway and into the ocean but now sitting in an ideal spot with access to the green. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, you really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. That's going to wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. Okay, that in for par here at the eighth. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. We finished the front side with what is often considered the most difficult hole at Pebble Beach, 483 yard par 4 ninth, ocean all down the right and bunkers and deep rough on the left. No room for error here. This one's starting a little bit right. Now, it's in the first cut. There's always a little bit more grass around the ball that has to be factored in. Second shot now from just a foot or two off the fairway. Nope. 
Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's going to move him back to two over par. So our featured golfer well back after round one and now likely in a fight just to play the weekend. I think they're in a different zip code today, Rich. Uh, it was like watching two different players, really the ones at the top of the leaderboard and, uh, well, our cherished featured player. Not that good today. So that should just about do it for all... <laughs>